Today's lesson is solve equations with decimals, lesson 2.1, part 2. The standard is 8EE7, 8EE7A, 8EE7B. The objective is to solve equations with rational coefficients, and the essential question is what is equivalence? We're going to identify parts of an expression. So my 4 is my coefficient because it's in front of the variable. My x is my variable. My 2 is my exponent. And then the 5 is the constant. And those are the parts of an expression. Example 1. Solve the equation. 1.4m equals 2.1. So what I'm going to do is divide both sides by 1.4. This side will cancel out, and then I'm going to have 2.1 divided by 1.4. I'm going to use the strategy in and out. So I'm going to go ahead and divide. Inside is going to be 2.1. On the outside, it's going to be 1.4. I know that I cannot have a decimal in the divisor, so I'm going to move it all the way to the right. So that was one time. I'm going to do the same thing in the dividend. Move it one time to the right, and then it goes straight up. So I know that 14 can go into 21 one time. 14 times 1 gives me 14. I subtract. I'll be left with 7. I'm bringing down a 0. I know that 14 can go into 70 five times. Because 14 times 5 gives me 70. I subtract. I get 0. So m equals 1.5. Example 2. Solve the equation. 4.9 equals 0.7t. I'm going to divide both sides by 0.7. And the reason why it's 0.7 is because it's next to the variable. So I'm going to divide by 0.7 on both sides. This side cancels out. And then again, I'm going to use a strategy in and out. So inside is going to be 4.9. On the outside is going to be 0 0.7. Again, I cannot have a decimal in the divisor, so I'm going to move the decimal all the way to the right one time. And again, in my dividend as well, one time to the right, and then it goes straight up. I know that 7 can go into 49 seven times. So 7 times 7 is 49. When I subtract, I'm left with 0. So t is going to equal 7. Remember percents are decimals. When I want to convert a percent to a decimal, all I do is take the decimal and move two places to the left. So I'm going to convert 25% to a decimal. I know that my decimal is at the very end, so I'm going to move two places to the left. 1, 2. My answer is 0 0.25. Now 60%, I want to convert that to a decimal. My decimal's at the end. Move two places to the left. One, two. My answer is 0 0.60. I want to convert 123%. My decimal's at the very end. I'm going to move two places to the left. One, two. My answer is 1.23. I want to convert 7% to a decimal. I know that my decimal is at the far end. I'm going to move two places to the left. One, two. My answer is 0 0.07. So all you have to do is move the decimal two jumps to the left. Example three. Paula has read 70% of the total pages in a book she is reading for English class. Paula has read 84 pages. Define a variable, then write and solve an equation to determine how many pages are in the book. So I'm going to first define my variable. I'm going to let b equal the total 
pages in the book. Now I'm going to go ahead and write my equation. So I know that 70% of the book equals 84. So I'm going to go ahead and convert my percent to a decimal. So I'm going to go ahead and move the decimal two places to the left. So 1, 2. I'm going to go ahead and write my equation, which is 0.7b equals 84. I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 0 0.7. And I know this will cancel out. I'm going to use the strategy in and out. So 84 goes in, 0 0.7 goes out. I'm going to move the decimal one place to the right in the divisor and one place to the right in my dividend. There's an invisible zero here. Move one place to the right and then it goes straight up. I'm going to put my zero here for my placeholder. I know that seven can go into eight one time. So seven times one gives me seven. I subtract. I'm left with one. I'm going to bring down my four. Seven can go into 14 two times. Seven times two is 14. I subtract, I'm left with zero. I'm going to bring the zero down and seven can go into zero, zero times. So my answer is B equals 120, which is 120 pages in the book. And that is my answer.